Some generators are frozen. Some equipment wasn't winterized. Those are some of the reasons why the nation's highest energy producing state cut the power, creating the greatest forced blackout in U.S. history. And to add to this, the price of energy in Texas went up this week. Yeah, the Public Utility Commission ordered the Electric Reliability Council of Texas to adjust the prices to reflect the scarcity of the supply. Anastasia Bolton explains what this could mean for you at home. Don't know how many people are going to freaking die because they did this and not having the resources to maintain us during this weather. We're kind of swimming in it, aren't we? Currently in my house, it's 57 degrees. Looking for a place to stay, but... All the motels are either booked or they have no power. Not literally, of course. Many of us don't have water. There's coffee, hot chocolate, water. There's milk in the, for the snow. <laughs> but in terms of frustration. There was a long line. Uh, unfortunately, there was not many people that was able to get what they needed. Some people are hanging on with all they've got. Mayor, you need to send us some help, Mayor, because we need some help out here. So the price of powering your home may not be on your mind. And that price at the manufacturing level went up from an average of $36 per megawatt hour to $9,000. $9,000 is the limit set by the Public Utility Commission this week to reflect the scarcity of electricity right now. When supply drops and demand increases, price increases. That's economics 101. Andrew Barlow speaks for PUC. What it did is it allowed the producers of that electricity to be compensated at the same level that all the other producers in the market were being compensated for their power. The producers and distributors think in terms of megawatts, consumers kilowatts. So on the consumer level, we went from 3.6 cents per kilowatt to $9. Yeah, when a hurricane comes into the Gulf of Mexico, and the hardware store makes the price of a D battery $4, and the, the sheet of plywood goes to $50. That's called price gouging, uh, but that's not being applied here with this grid failure. Some consumers will feel the price, all depending on how they get their electricity. For most people at home, it shouldn't mean very much because if they've contracted with a solvent managed retail electricity provider for Customers who were in the pool, this could be a problem for them. And for those customers who buy wholesale through Gritty, for example, oh my, it's going to be a severe financial hit for them at the end of the month. PUC says consumers should pay close attention at contract renewal time. And that's the whole notion of the informed consumer and the power of choice that you have within the, the Texas energy-only market. I'm Anastasia Bolton.